world of fantasy, romance, sci-fi, adventure, and more. It's time for the Author Hour, your guide to fantastic fiction, hosted by Matthew Peterson. It's a weekly visit with the masters of fiction as we meet with the top authors of today. Now, here's Matthew Peterson. the long convoluted story of where (laughs) flesh and spirit came from and of course then it got more complicated and the book that I had sold as a standalone again turned into two books (laughs) to finish the story and these aren't exactly really short books either they're pretty expansive and you got a big world that you've created no I I love starting out a story because you can lay down all these threads basically I had made comments about the fact that I felt that too many fantasies did not have workable economic, political, or technological systems, uh-huh. and that their magic systems were not particularly useful, Yeah. because human beings are a tool-using species, like it or not. If it doesn't work, we don't use it. It just gets discarded very quickly. If we had magic, it would be the same thing, and I basically developed a magic system which is logical and which is adapted to a tool-using species. And I tried to develop political and social and economic systems that would be consistent with it, and with an economic system that made sense. That was the challenge. I needed something to stay sane while they put me in a uh, cast that went from my armpits over my toes. Oh, man. And so I essentially uh, decided, well, what am I going to do to stay sane? And I'd had an idea about the uh, Lord of the Rings sequel, and I wondered why J.R.R. Tolkien had not ever written this particular sequel. And so I decided, well, just for my own self, I'd write it. I didn't have any idea that I was going to even come close to publishing it. All I was trying to do was to uh, stay sane. Uh, Doubleday Books tried to get permission from the Tolkien estate, and the Tolkien estate he essentially decided they didn't want anyone to write a sequel, especially some unknown author that, who was laying flat on his back <laughs> in a cast. In a cast, yeah. What's ironic, of course, that you mentioned the sailing is that I had never sailed before. Oh. <laughs> um, I don't know anything about, well, I didn't know anything about sailing. I know far more now. And I did. I had to do a lot of research. I went and I sailed on this two-masted tall ship out of Seattle. And it was all of a little three-hour cruise, but it showed me how the masts work and how the sails work and, and what the pin rails look like. And then I did a lot of research on MySpace. There's a group devoted to tall ship sailing, and I met a captain of a tall ship. So I picked his brain quite a bit, and then I found all kinds of books and did a lot of research that way. But yeah, um, there's a lot of research that goes into all of these books, surprisingly. 